Welcome back to Learn BC. You're here with Jared, and we're here to talk about a new series we're starting, which is Why Piss the Central. Now, our first video, we're going to talk about how to spin up a demo. Let's get started. Here we are on the Microsoft website. We've gone to uh, Microsoft's uh, Dynamics um, just to go back a step. Uh, if you're on Dynamics, if you go dynamics.microsoft.com, it will get you there. So straight to Microsoft from any country, wherever you are. You'll notice the country here. You may want to set that specific to where you are. Mine was defaulted to the US, and now I've reloaded. It will load these strain pages. And I'm going to hit products and go back to Business Central on the top right, just here. So Business Central. Um, to spin up a trial, it's actually not that difficult at all. On your main page here, uh, a lot of people go scrolling and go through all these menus, but it's actually just here, try for free. Now, to do that, you need to have an Office 365 account, and you've got to decide, okay, hey, I want to use my 365 account at work, or you've got to decide to spin up a new tenancy to go through a trial, and whether depending on the risk profile of the organization and the appetite. So what I've done is I've actually gone and Googled uh, Office 365. Um, uh, and what I wanted to do is spin up a basic trial, uh, $9. You've got to put your credit card details in, but it's a 30-day trial. And spin up a trial of Office 365. Um, and it basically takes you through the steps. Um, I was getting this weird error when you did, but if you actually click on the open support ticket, it actually brought me into the administrative panel, which was all working. So Microsoft's got a little bug there at the moment. And when I came in here, I had to go in to purchase services. And under purchase services, I searched Office uh, Basic, just like that. And Basic came up here at the time and said, okay, trial is available, um, Office 365 Business Basic. And it says trial available. And you click on details and from details, we step forwards into, um, I want to use a trial for how many, et cetera. And then it just took us from there. So, all right, now we're in Office 365. I've already got a tenancy. I'm logged in. Now, the requirement for you to spin this up as a demo, you need to be a global admin or, yeah, you need to be an administrator, okay? It's going to be a little bit difficult or tricky, okay? There's hundreds of administrative roles. Just trust me on this. Get your IT admin to be part of this journey. Back on the Dynamics page, so now we know we're logged into Office 365 within the browser, okay? Down on the corner, we're gonna hit try for free. All right, and as we do this, is this the account I wanna use? Admin at learnbcdemo.com, yes it is. Continue, where's the Australia? And I'm gonna put my mobile number there, so. Uh, I don't want to be spammed by Microsoft, so I'm going to ignore the tick boxes. And it's just going to ask to confirm. So I'm signing up, skip and go to Business Central. So you could turn around and select your domain, okay? And uh, you could put your, your different staff, you could you know, you can add 10, 15 people into this. I think from memory, this gives you about a um, thousand or 10,000 Business Central licenses when you go into trial. Let's get started. Here we are, Business Central's loading. And this is first time. It may take a few minutes because at the same time, as we step through this, Business Central behind the scenes is provisioning. Okay, so you see this here. They're actually just trying to collect some data on you. Hi, Jerry. Uh, Jerry is my nickname, by the way. Welcome to Business Central. As we prepared, tell us some details. I could go through this, and as you start stepping into it, it's going to start collecting data. Um, I'm just going to skip them all uh, because it's it's just giving statistics back to Microsoft. But you may find it's useful. You feel like uh, contributing and they would appreciate for you to actually be filling that in and um, you know really going to town there. So we're watching this in real time, okay? This is real-time provisioning of Business Central from beginning to end. Um, let's just watch the clock. Here we go, getting ready.
Okay, here we are, Mr. Central. So let's now go back into the administration. Let's take a look at what's happened. So I'm going to go into licenses, and I can see here, let's wait for it to refresh. Okay, we've been given Power Automate free, and we've also got 365 Business Central, and there's, uh, yeah, 9,999 licenses available, 10,000, as, as I said. So there's a lot of capability for you to throw this around your organization and give everybody a try, all right? But the central itself um, has an administration center. If I go into that by hitting the cog, and really we're, we're up and running, and that environment here, because I was in Australia, deployed in Australia. If you're in New Zealand, you get the New Zealand, United States, US, Canada, UK, or so on. So most countries have their own version of Business Central that actually deploys. And, um, you know, if you've got that wrong, you can actually delete the environment, create a new environment in your particular country. Um, the big difference there that we're talking about here internationally is the international accounting standards versus United States tax standards and uh, versus rest of the world. And so, and the other thing to that is localization by country. So in Australia, we have uh, the general ledger set up. We have specific settings which relate to Australia down on local functionalities here. Okay, so that's built in. Now, funny enough, for those who are in New Zealand, with our Kiwi friends, Australia and New Zealand, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so this this trial spins up and it has New Zealand data and Australian data, GST 15, GST 10, etc. So this is Kronos. This is your first company. And that is how we spin up Business Central. You can, from here, continue watching all of our video series on YouTube. It's all based off this company. You should be able to go along and follow along with it. The customers are the same customers that we've used in all of our demonstrations, okay? So everything should look the same. You should be right to just jump forwards and um, really lean in and get in there. Have a great day.